Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a full face of Sephora favorites. Um, if you guys haven't seen in my previous videos, I do buy a lot of those Sephora favorites kits and I think it would be fun to see if the products inside are actually any good. And yeah, I think that's all I need to say for this intro. So I'll just get started. So this video isn't a million years long but the first thing I'm gonna do is put on a primer so the one I have here from one of my Sephora favorite sets is this um, small size it's like a mini of the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base so it looks like this it's actually quite thick if you can see the texture it looks more like a moisturizer um, but yeah I'm excited to try this my skin is super dry right now so I think it would work really well for me so let's put this on I don't really want to stick my fingers in there I'm gonna use my little lip spatula thing just to get some out I don't really know how much to use maybe like I'll start with that that could be a lot yeah, it's a thick texture. Mmm, smells nice. It smells very refreshing. Kind of citrusy. So I actually haven't like read a lot about this. But I'm assuming it's supposed to be a moisturizing primer. It does feel a bit like silicone-y. So... It would probably like help to smooth out your skin also but we'll see how it works mm, I do like how that smells though so for a foundation I actually don't have a product that came from a Sephora favorites box they never put complexion products in those boxes because it, it wouldn't make sense since there's so many like different skin tones out there they can't just like put one in a in a box that's meant to be purchased by anyone so so I did go on the Sephora app to find uh, which products are like pretty high rated out of the ones I already own and actually the only foundation I have that you can buy at Sephora is the Makeup Forever Water Blend I use this in a lot of my videos it's a very light coverage it could be medium if you build it up and if you use a brush but I like to use it with a sponge and kind of like shear it out so that's the foundation I'm going to be using today and I'll have to do some spot concealing but I don't want to use the concealer that I chose for this video because it's more like an under eye concealer so yeah I think I'll just do the base off camera because you've seen me apply this a million times and it will save some time um, for this video so I will be back with my base on well part of it you'll see okay so I put my um, spot concealing on and my uh, makeup forever water blend I forgot to mention that um, this has 4.1 stars on Sephora's rating just let me make sure that's correct yeah this has 4.1 out of 5 stars and it has 606 reviews so that's pretty good I think um, I'm gonna put some lip balm on because I did choose a Sephora favorite lip balm I have so many lip balms that are Sephora favorites because that's what they usually put in the boxes but I think this one stood out to me the most this is the fresh sugar advanced therapy this is like a classic Sephora favorite um, this has been around forever I feel like like I even had one of these before I was into makeup so that just shows you like it's even like mainstream popular so I'm gonna use that today this is just the clear one I do have the uh, rosé one I believe it's called but that's just the clear one and this is a small size as well feels really nice so I'm gonna do my under eye and like highlighting concealer I took out my bare minerals bare skin you can see that complete coverage serum concealer I actually hauled this in 
one of my videos. I got this 50% off. I hope it's the right shade. It's the shade Fair, so hopefully it's not too, too fair. Because this foundation is already like a shade too light for me, I feel. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I've never tried this before. And this has, let me see again. This also has 4.1 out of 5 stars with 865 reviews. So it should be pretty good. So I'm not going to use too, too much at first since I've never used this before. So, I don't know how it reacts with this foundation. I like the applicator though. It's like a flat doe foot applicator that was like pretty flexible. So, I'm going to use a sponge to blend it out. This does have really good coverage from what I can tell so far. And it's not looking cakey. I think I really like this. I can't really see it super well because I'm using my makeup, my um, my mirror, my big mirror as the light for this video. So I'm just, I have this little one. I think it's blended out. That looks really good. That like just looks pretty seamless with the foundation. I think it's a good shade. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay, so that's good. And I did take out a powder, another Sephora favorite. Obviously, that's what this video is. Um, it's the Becca what is this called? Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is a small size. Um, so this powder is pretty cool. It feels like cooling on the skin and it kind of goes like from a powder to like a creamy texture. I haven't used it too much. I think I've used it one time before so let's see how it works. I don't think I want to set my concealer with this but I will just use it to put it on the parts of my face where I put blush and bronzer and highlighter to help it blend better. I guess I'll just go in with my sponge and then we'll see how it works. It's just kind of like melting right into my foundation. Maybe I will try just a bit on the under eye, just like that much to see. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good idea. I think I liked how the concealer looked on its own, so... But at least now I know. And I think that took away some of the coverage. But on the rest of my face, it just kind of like melted right in, so... That's good. So I'm just going to continue with the rest of the face. For bronzer, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Omega... Uh, Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan in Tantastic. You've seen this on my channel before. This has um, a really good rating on Sephora as well. This has 4.6 out of 5 stars and 409 reviews. So yeah, a lot of people like this bronzer. I'm going to use my new favorite bronzer brush it has cat hair on it <laughs> this is the um, eco tools full powder brush if you're wondering they don't sell this at sephora but i like it i really like this bronzer it's pretty like i guess light so if you have like a skin tone deeper than mine. I don't know how well this will work for you, but on me, I like the tone. It's not like orange, uh, but it's not too like cool tone where it's like gray either. So yeah, I really like this 
bronzer. So for blush, I have three different options here because I wasn't sure where my look was going to go. I might have to save blush for later because I don't know how the eyes will look. Yes, so scratch that. We'll start. <laughs> we'll do the eyes first. So I actually am going to go in again with that bronzer just to put it in my crease because as you'll soon see I didn't bring out a full eyeshadow palette for this I mean even though there I have so many eyeshadow palettes that are probably Sephora favorites but I wanted to try some products that I haven't tried before so I'm just gonna use this to put down some color and some depth so for eye products I took out two things from my last Sephora favorites box that I no it wasn't my last one <laughs> one of the most recent ones it's the Sephora favorites next big thing box so it's like kind of newer brands to Sephora and the first thing is this Violet Voss oh there's no name on it damn let me see what this is called. So this is the Violet Boss Eye Glitter Topper in the shade Dream. This has 4.6 out of 5 stars but only 53 reviews and that's because it is a newer product to Sephora. I didn't realize this was supposed to be an eye topper because to me it looks pretty opaque in the component. So I actually want to put this all over my eyelid. So we'll see how it works. I've never used this before, but it looks really pretty and sparkly if it would focus. No, don't want to focus. Okay. So I guess you just put it right on with this applicator. Sorry, I had to change my memory card. So I did the one eye. Um, I just put it everywhere and it is like creasing if you can tell. So I don't know if it was really meant to you know just put all over like that it does say it's a topper so I won't blame the product for that I also didn't put any eye primer on which maybe I should have in real life if I was like wearing this kind of product out I'd probably use my NYX glitter primer just so that it would stick on and stay on better but I think that looks pretty so I'm just gonna do the same thing on this eye and we'll see how it goes yeah that was super easy um, I didn't put it all the way to the outside because I have something else I want to use but for now that's what that looks like and I will just dab this a bit and I'm kind of like bringing it into the crease. I kind of like that so far. So the other eye product I took out that I haven't used yet is the Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz. No, the Artist Couture Diamond Lights Finisher and Spotlight Glitz. It's this little thing here. It's like a loose pigment, but you can use it like everywhere on the eyes, lips, as like a highlighter. But I kind of wanted to put this going up towards the outer corner and kind of like blend it out. So, but I do think for that I really should use my glitter primer because that is a loose product. So let me just put some of that on. So yeah, this is like a little pot with holes like that. So you just kind of have to dump it out. I'm going to dump some into the cap. It's quite chunky and flaky. So I don't know how it's going to go. kind of want like a stiff brush like this to pack it on with. And hope that it picks it up. This is actually a very similar tone to the product I just put down, 
which is funny because those both came in the same Sephora favorites kit so maybe they should have put something like more different you know but I I like that shade it's a coppery champagne -y with like some silver sparkle yeah I don't know can you see that on camera oh yeah that looks really cool so for me I would not use this as a highlighter <laughs> it's way too like glittery and flaky and like too dark for my skin tone anyway but as an eye topper it's very pretty yeah can you see with the light it looks really cool okay that's kind of what I wanted it to be I think I just need a bit more of this on this eye because it kind of got blended away and let me know if you guys have tried this and if you've also tried the Stila ones because these are like I think $11 cheaper than the Stila ones so if they're the same product you might as well get this Violet Boss one I haven't used the Stila ones enough to really have a full review on them but all I know is that they dry out very quickly and they're like $32 Canadian so yeah that those ones might be a better option for you and they're like not irritating my eye or anything which is good now we can finish the face I should have a better idea of what blush I want to use now so I have three here the first one is like an old um, like an old favorite at Sephora it's the NARS orgasm blush it's like a peach no it's like a pink blush with like peachy gold shimmer like so so there's that I also have this Natasha Denona diamond and glow which I kind of want to use but I don't think it's gonna go yeah that's the blush but I will use this highlighter actually and then I have something that's like a newer favorite at Sephora it's the Kaja cheeky stamp this is the shade feisty so this one's more like a raspberry blush do I want to use this? I think I do I think I want to stick with um not that this is matte because it's a liquid it's like a cream blush but the other ones have like um, sparkle in them and I already have so much sparkle in the eye so I will go in with this one and with this I think I'm just gonna use my fingers well I should have used the stamp because that's the whole thing right but let me just see with my finger first Okay, let me try with the stamp I've used these in another video but if you don't know like there's a heart shaped stamp on the top and then you just stamp that in the product you get some on the heart here and then you put this on your face and it looks really cute see <laughs> but uh, yeah then how do you blend it out that's the question I guess you, no, I think I put that too low but it feels like really thin like it's not a sticky formula so it is easy to blend out that is like very pigmented for my skin tone I think I will have to use my sponge just to tone it down I'm intrigued by this brand it's actually owned by Sephora so that's probably why they put it in the favorites kits and they're really like hyping it up but I really like the like aesthetic of it okay so after blending that out forever it does look better right <laughs> maybe that's more of like a summer blush for me when I have like a tan and I'm not so pasty and then the highlighter I'm actually really excited to use this I've always wanted this 
so when I saw it was in a Sephora favorites kit I was like oh I need that so I'm just gonna go in with the highlighter portion and this I already know is very glittery so if you don't like glitter highlighters you probably won't like this what should I put this on with? let me try this brush this is another Moda brush, not from Sephora again, but I just have it here. This could be a bad idea. <laughs> we'll see. Hmm. Now that I see the concealer up close, um, I think it's the powder, but it does not look good. It's looking very cakey. I don't know if you can even... Yeah, you can see like it's like crepey. It did not look like that before I put the powder on, so I'm going to assume it was the powder. So, yeah, for me, I'm not going to put that powder under my eyes anymore. Or I'll just have to try the concealer on its own and see which product actually caused that. But, yeah, anyway, let's put the highlighter on. Can you see how like it's very glittery? Very, very glittery, but I mean, if that's the look you're going for, I don't mind it with this eye. It kind of like blends it all together and looks kind of pretty. But for like the nose and the other places I highlight, I wouldn't use this because it just looks like glitter. And there's glitter like all over my desk now. Look at this. That's crazy, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, like, be careful with that product. And probably you want to put it on, like, a stickier base. I just rubbed it on my hand, but you can't really see well there, yeah. So, yeah, if you're doing, like, a more, I don't know, glittery nighttime look, that could be fun. Oh, I forgot eyebrows. Um, that was silly, but I do know I have one of these four favorites. It's the It Cosmetics pencil, so I'm going to get that. So it's this, the It Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. I think, I don't know if there's different shades because it's universal. So this is Universal Taupe. I actually got this in a boxy charm, but I got another one in a Sephora favorite set, so that's why I know it is a Sephora favorite. So it has a spoolie on one end, which I will use to brush up my brows. And then on this side, it's like an oval shape pencil, like this, if you can see. So let's try this. I can't remember if I've used this before. Usually I don't use pencils. I prefer like a fiber brow gel and that's it. But for the sake of this video, let's use this pencil. So when I do use pencils, I kind of like draw a line like very messily <laughs> on the bottom like the underneath my brow and then I draw lines upwards in the front and I kind of just blend it all in I don't like the look of a very structured brow if you haven't noticed I never do like super done up brows so this is how I like to use pencils I think this is a, this is a good shade for me it said universal taupe, so I was expecting it to be more like cool toned, but it's pretty brown actually. Yeah, it's a good color, but I probably will have to go in with my, my fiber gel because I like them to be more fluffy. For now, let's finish the eyes. For mascara, so I didn't want to open a new mascara. I have tons of minis that are Sephora favorites, but I already had this one open 
It's the Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. I really like this. I have not tried the non-waterproof version um, because this is the one I got in like some kind of kit. This has 4.2 out of 5 stars and 1,315 reviews. So people do like this. I usually don't like waterproof mascara, but this one is pretty good. This is more of a volumizing mascara than it is a lengthening mascara, so usually I like lengthening better, but I mean this one is very nice to build up. It doesn't get too clumpy. I think it is drying out though. I've had it open for a while. So the only thing left to do is the lip color. And that's the category I have the most <laughs> options for because I buy like all the Sephora favorites lip kits. So let's see what would go best with this look. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which was in my most recently hauled Sephora favorites box. That could be really nice. It's like a pinky nude well it's not is it like a pinky brown and i have this melt uh matte lipstick in old rose Ooh, which looks very nice and i've been really wanting to try this formula and then I have like this whole half of my Sephora favorites, like the lip kit they came out with this holiday. This has another Charlotte Tilbury in Very Victoria. This one's more like a mauve color. I have this red Sephora cream lip stain, I believe. Yeah, cream lip stain. It's kind of more like a, a brownie red. And I have a Fenty lipstick here. I believe this is a very bright color. Let me see. Yeah, it's like a purple. Well, it looks more purple in person. It's called Flamingo Acid. That could be fun since the rest of my makeup is so simple and this kind of goes with the blush tone and then I have a Too Faced um, Sex on the Peach mini which is like another nude like a brown oh my god there's so many options what should I do let me see this again Old rose. Guys, I think I have to use the Fenty. I'm just feeling a bright lip with this blush and eye. So let's see what happens here. These are the Mademoiselle lipsticks, by the way. So they are matte. Ooh, yeah, that's like a fuchsia. Normally I'd use a lip liner. <laughs> But I'm kind of just winging this video. I do really like these lipsticks. I have two other minis. And I love the shades of them. And they wear forever. They kind of like stain your lips a bit. So I think that's what has to do with them wearing long. But that's fine with me. Because then they don't like give like a weird effect. You know when it wears out just in the middle. And it looks pretty gross. So yeah. That's the lipstick. It's, the lip line is not perfect, but when is it ever? And the last thing to do is setting spray. So I have here a mini Urban Decay All Nighter. This is like a cult classic. When I looked it up on the Sephora app, I think it also said it won the Allure awards this year and it's been around forever so that shows you it's good 
Um, yes, it's a, the Best of Beauty Award winner for Allure. And this has 9,500 reviews and 4.4 out of 5 stars. So, I'm looking at the app, if you can tell. Yeah. So, I've actually never tried this before. Because I have so many other setting sprays that are already, like, in use. And I never really felt like I needed a like a setting spray to make my makeup last long because I don't like go out to events and like clubs or I don't know wherever you need your makeup to last. But let's try this. It's supposed to. Uh, it says up to 16 hour wear. Lightweight, temperature control technology. That's interesting. Hmm, that's very wet. So that's the finished look. I just took my hair down because it looked like very messy. Um, I think it really came together in the end with this lip color because the blush is very bright and kind of like the focus of this look, but I don't hate it. And I kind of like how the formula, its it leaves like a sheen on the face. And it looks really like pretty and fresh. So yeah, I am happy with that. I probably should have put it higher up though. I do have trouble with that. If you guys have any tips like blush placement, <laughs> I know that's weird, but I feel like my blush, I always put it too low. I don't know. I kind of like everything that I used. Um, yeah, the only thing is the powder. I don't think that's a good powder for setting or baking the under eye. But on the rest of the face, it just kind of melded in, so that's good. The eye product looks very pretty. And I kind of just love everything. This could be like another holiday look with this, um, with this lip and the blush. It looks quite... You know simple holiday glam which is what I'm going for this year but yeah I think that's it so let me know if you guys have tried any of these products before if they're some of your favorites or if you think they're just in the Sephora favorites kit so that they can sell more of them <laughs> I don't know let me know below and if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!